Pipe jacking machine being tested at MGF, the Maschinen- und Gerätefabrik company in Neustadt Wied Ferntal. Built for a construction site in Düren, the machine has a drilling head for loose earth. Before the full-face machines leave the factory, all important functions are carefully checked. After the final acceptance test, the complete installation is loaded onto a transporter and delivered to the site. In addition to lengthy and costly research, development and design work, MGF machines are backed by many years of practical experience both at home and abroad, often gained under the most demanding geological conditions. This means we can offer the contractor fully developed machine systems which guarantee the economic success of pipe jacking operations. At the same time, MGF is assembling another pipe jacking unit, this time for use in solid rock. The unpainted drilling head, with a diameter of 1125 millimeters, shows clearly the various cutting tools. The inside of the machine, revealing a perfected engineering concept. This sort of machine was used successfully here in Nuremberg after other units had proved inadequate. Under extreme geological conditions, it achieved a drilling performance of 1 meter 80 an hour. Existing urban infrastructures are sensitive to the disruptions inherent in open cut construction work. Using enclosed construction systems minimizes the strain and inconvenience placed on motorists, residents, local development and surface vegetation. MGF's innovative automatic remote controlled pipe jacking technology provides economic solutions to the many problems involved in underground supply and waste disposal facilities without disrupting road traffic. The transporter arrives at the construction site and the complete unit is unloaded. The full face machine system consists essentially of the following components. First, the main station with the telescopic cylinders, pushing plate, pressure bridge and guiding rails. Second, the steerable boring head with the boring disc and in the follower, the drive unit for the drilling head. And third, the container with the integrated control console and the hydraulic power unit. After the machine has been lowered into the jacking pit and positioned on the guide rails, the hydraulic, measuring and control lines are connected. Now the drilling head is driven into the earth. The drilling speed in this sandy, gravelly earth with pebble sizes up to 100 millimeters, was six meters an hour. The boring head, equipped with various excavating tools, is driven by an oil motor with planetary gears and removes the entire area of earth at the interface. The excavated earth passes through extraction holes or slits to the watertight rear section of the head, where it's continuously mixed by an activator plate with a constant supply of water. The resulting slurry is then removed by a powerful pump capable of transporting it over long distances and changes of elevation to the settling tanks. Water level electrodes in the boring head and an inbuilt manometer enable the hydraulic conveyance to be optimally adjusted. The positioning of the machine is carried out by a laser beam and an inductive laser target in the boring head. A computer detects deviation from the nominal axis and transfers the values to a monitor in the control console. With the aid of the roll measurement, the operator receives a coordinate system corrected by the amount of roll. Thus, the degree of roll, the angle of inclination, the position, as well as the water level and water pressure of the machine are displayed simultaneously in the control console. 
The decisive advantages of the MGF system are firstly, a four-face machine for loose earthwork can be converted into a solid rock cutting machine just by changing the boring head and making minor modifications. Second, the boring head, which can travel axially, is supported on a pressurized oil cushion. If obstructions along the drilling route raise the compressing pressure above the permissible level, then the boring head reverses for a short distance and the main compressing station cuts out to prevent damage to the machine. Third, an activator plate can open up additional extraction holes or close them if the forward drive is interrupted so that the complete surface of the earth at the interface is supported, preventing any material accidentally passing into the boring head. Fourth, the drive speed is adapted to the geological conditions and is controlled fully automatically. Fifth, extendable anti-roll stabilizers prevent the machine from rolling. When the machine has been driven into the earth from the jacking pit and the telescopic cylinders retracted, the next reinforced concrete pipe is placed on the guide rails. The supply lines for the boring head are reconnected and the forward drive can continue. A high torque combined with a drilling disc equipped with appropriate excavating tools, as well as the optimal adjustment of all the other machine components, guarantee high daily outputs and efficient economic operation. The compact design means that the remote controlled pipe jacking installations can be recovered, transported and inspected without any difficulty, so that they're available for redeployment elsewhere without delay. <laughs>